What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with the Blade Infusion 180 with another Micro Heli part. So we have the Micro Heli mainframe in red to go with our theme. So we're gonna go ahead, get the camera on a tripod, get the canopy off and let's start this First build. thing we need to do before we start assembling the mainframe is disassemble our old one. So all we need out of this model is of course, all the electronics, your skids, your boom, your receiver FBL unit and your ESC. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead, pop our linkages off. We're going to remove this one, one and a half millimeter screw here, pull the entire head swash plate and main shaft assembly out at one time. So we got our ball links popped off, our anti-rotation bracket out, and now we're gonna take our one and a half millimeter driver, finish unscrewing our main shaft bolt, get that out of there, set it aside, and now your entire head assembly should pull right out nice and easily. We're gonna go ahead and set that guy aside. So now we have our main frame with our servo. So we're gonna take our cutters and we are going to cut these zip ties because we want to look at these wires, but be careful not to cut the actual wire. So now look at your servo ports. This is going to be important. So one, two, three, four. So this is one, two, three, and four. So only four ports are taken up on this actual FBL. Your first main port, this big one, is going to be throttle. So this big wire here is your ESC throttle. So we know we can go ahead and set this guy aside. This little yellow wire is not used. And then we're gonna trace these servo wires down. So we know our back servo runs this way up and our back servo goes to port three. And if you want to go ahead and start labeling these, I'm take a little bit of blue painters tape, put it on there. We know this one goes to port three. So we're going to write with a black Sharpie three. So now we know that's port three. Now we're going to grab our next wire, which is going to be your left side servo that goes to port four. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab ourselves a little piece of blue painters tape, and we are going to just mark this as a four. And then you're gonna do the last one, which is two, and you're gonna mark that with a two. ESC, no need to mark. I went ahead and marked the ESC anyway. So we have one, two, three, and four. So all of our wires are marked. Now for the motor wires, they are colored. So red to red, black to black, blue to blue. And the same with the ESC wires, red to red, black to black, blue to blue. So now we can go ahead, one and a half millimeter driver and remove our servos. We remove our servos. I like to mark the servos. So I put a B for back. This will be left, this will be right, as we know this is the nose of the helicopter, this is the tail of the helicopter. First thing we're gonna do on the micro heli frame install is we have our parts laid out here. So we're going to need this little center bearing block and main shaft, and again, micro heli quality is incredible. They did a fantastic job on this frame like they do on all of them. So we're gonna grab our block and we want micro heli just to kind of face up. And then it really doesn't matter which way it goes, your bearing's already pre-installed, you're gonna grab your top servo mount and it is going to sit down on here like this and then we are going to grab our one and a half millimeter driver loctited screw already pre-done and you are going to run this screw down do the exact same on the other screw so now that we got this guy both screws loctited down here now we can move on to installing this other part here which is going to be the rear frame upper frame and lower frame so this is the rear frame so we're going to use it's a phillips headed screw and we're going to add a dab of Loctite and you're just going to simply drop it down on the frame. It's gonna only fit one way. So real quick, let's look at this. So if you look, it's notched. So it's only gonna fit one way. And then you are going to Loctite your screw and go ahead and add it. Now these little Phillips screws can be a pain. So it's best if you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, uh, you can always magnetic any screwdriver using a magnet to run it on there and magnetize it. So go ahead, run both screws down like this, Loctite. So installing the bottom is the exact same way as we did on the top. You lay it down, Loctite. So now I highly recommend leaving screws in the parts until you are at that step. So I went ahead and removed the screws for the servos and that's where we are now. So we're gonna go ahead and install the back servo. So this is going to be the front of the helicopter. This is the back of the helicopter, this is the top, this is the bottom. So our back servo, is going to go in this way with servo horn or splines to the right side and it's going to nicely fit into its little holders there, its little grooves. Grab your Loctite and run the servo screws down. They have little washers on them, which is very nice. Keeps the servo nice and mounted. So go ahead, run your other screw in and then you're going to mount 
your left and right side servo the exact same way. So it's going to fit down into these little grooves here and you're going to lock tight your screws and then we can have our servo assembly done and move on ahead. Got all of our screws in, our servos are mounted. So now we are ready to move on to the next step. Next step is going to be the battery slash ESC tray. I'm pretty sure this is the ESC tray and FBL mount. So what we wanna do is you want the double-sided tape that comes on it to be up and you want your open side to be down. So now you're gonna take these little pegs here and these are gonna be your FBL mount and these little pegs are gonna fit in keyed one way. So they're just going to sit in here like this and then you're going to run your screw from the bottom. It's gonna be a tiny Phillips. You're gonna do one, two, three, and four. Get them installed, they're gonna look like this. So they're just Phillips screws from the bottom gonna fit one way and these are going to be for the FBL tray. So now you see two little holes here and that is for the battery stop, the rear battery mount. So this little guy here is angled. I don't know if you can see that it's angled, but it is angled. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put the flat side towards the front. So the micro heli logo, that's the front. And this guy is going to sit down here like this and you are going to run two Phillips screws in from the top. This is what the battery backstop will look like. You want a flat side towards the micro heli logo, screws in from the top. So we're gonna set that thing aside and we are gonna grab the motor mount plate. So this is gonna be your motor mount plate. And just know that the distance between these two screws is going to be the front and the bigger distance is going to be the rear. This is the top going towards the helicopter. And of course, this is the bottom for the skids. So what we wanna do here is we wanna grab our motor and we are going to assemble it like this. So we need to find where the holes match up. There's two little lineup pins. They did a fantastic job. Grab your stock screws with Loctite and a two millimeter driver. Go ahead and tighten all four of your screws. One, two, three, and four. Loctite done. Your motor should be mounted like this, Loctited. And now we can start assembling the frame. We have all of our parts laid out here. Now I just wanna note something really quick. All the screws that we took out for the frame side are going to be the same exception of two screws. And those screws are gonna be the ones that come in the upper frame right here. They are going to be a little longer. They are, if you look at them side by side here, they're a quite a bit difference in length. Now there's only two of these. Every other screw is this length here. Now the reason for the longer screws, keep them separate, is because you need the longer screws for your canopy mounts because your canopy is going to screw through here, your canopy mount like this. So just keep that in mind, set them aside. So now let's get started on the frame assembly. So I'm going to start with the boom block. So everything is keyed. If you notice, you see little ridges. It fits right into the carbon fiber perfectly. Micro Heli did an incredible job. Like always, I'm gonna grab my first screw, Loctite it, and then I'm going to run this screw down and now there's three more to do. One, two, three. I'm gonna do those. I got those, all four screws in on one side. Loving this bat. My favorite part of this whole mainframe is the battery latch with, latch with sliding tray. Super excited. So now we're gonna grab our servo little mainframe bearing block here. And we're gonna go ahead and we are going to lay this out. So this is going to lay out like this. And again, it's going to just fit in there nice and perfectly. So. We're gonna install three screws right now. Okay, we're gonna install one in the back here, already Loctited. So we have one, and then we're gonna do two, three, and four, I'm sorry, four screws. And then we're gonna leave this top one out for right this second. Also on the boom block, the micro LA logo goes to the back and you want it so you can get to your boom tension screw in the back. So now that we got our four screws in, one, two, three, four, this top one's out. Now we're gonna grab our canopy mount we are going to slide it down like this. It fits in there one way. It is keyed like everything. And then we're gonna grab our longer screw and there's only two of them. And that guy's gonna go in right in the top, just like this. Go ahead and snug it all down. Now our canopy mounts in. So now for our next step, we're gonna go ahead and install our motor and mount, but I wanna slide the main shaft and head assembly in first, just so it can stay nice and square. So go ahead and remove the bolt out of the motor. All right, so now we are ready to install this. So now remember again, closer distance goes towards the front of the helicopter. So we're gonna wanna run our wires through the mainframe like this, kind of slide this guy up into position here. 
get it to lock into there and then slide our shaft down. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and put that bolt in now for the actual motor shaft or main shaft, I'm sorry. Get that pinch bolt through there, tighten it down. That way we know the main shaft's not gonna fall out or go anywhere. Go ahead, run it all the way down. Lock tight it, of course. And then grab your next screw with Loctite and start putting the three screws in that hold this bottom motor mount. There's one, two, and three. So I went ahead and pushed my motor wires up and through the frame. Be careful you don't cut them with carbon. So now our next step is to install the ESC slash FBL mount. Now what we need to do here is we need to move these wires out of the way and we wanna slide these motor wires up and through this hole right here. And we wanna do that so that way we can push this guy all the way down and into place. And again, it is just going to simply key right in just like everything else. Micro Heli logo to the front. Grab our screw with Loctite that we are ready. Go ahead and thread all the way down. Two more screws to install, one, two, and we'll start on the other side. Now to make our life easier, before we install our other frame side, which is right here, we're gonna wait on installing this, we are going to install the tail boom. And the main reason for it is running your tail motor wires. So you're going to run your motor wires through the boom block and you might have to pull this servo back out and you want these wires to run on the inside of this servo and come out over here just like this. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So we got the boom slid in. Now your boom is going to slide into a locking pin that is right there. So it's just gonna slide and lock. And then now we are going to grab our clamp screw. We already put a little Loctite on it and you're just going to run that screw down, make sure the boom, push it, make sure it's all the way in and tighten that screw up. So now our boom is locked into place. We did remove the servo, run the wires up to right here. So now all of our wires are, are ran forward and now we can go ahead and install the next frame side. So now this is gonna grab your left side of the frame. You are going to simply just set it down here and just kind of wiggle it into location, make sure everything fits down in its little grooved spots. So now we're gonna grab our first screw with Loctite and we're gonna start on the very back of the boom block, just like we did on the opposite side. And we're just going to work it down. And we're going to run one screw in and we're going to kind of place the screws throughout. So we have one screw in the boom block. We're gonna grab our next screw and we are going to add Loctite to it, of course. And we will run this screw kind of up here on the front somewhere. So let's work this guy into place and we're gonna put this screw right here in the front. And then we're just gonna work our screws back and forth to make sure everything is locked down. And then we're gonna save this screw at the top for last and that's the canopy mount. So go ahead, get your screws all put in and Loctite in. All of our screws in, exception of this top one. So all of our screws are in, Loctited and tightened down. So now we're gonna grab our canopy mount and our screw and again it's going to fit in one way so this canopy mount is going to drop down into here just like this and you're going to take your screw lock tighted and run that guy down into place tighten it up so now we're going to remove these four screws at the bottom and install the skids. screws removed and we have our skids here so now these are the micro heli carbon skids of course if you have your stock skids are going to be the same thing and it going to sit down right into place just like that and then you're going to grab your screw with Loctite and run all four screws in. Now I will have everything linked in the description below of this video so if you want the mainframe, if you want the skids, the head, the tail, everything will be linked in the description. So if you want it go ahead and get it. I highly recommend this mainframe. I recommend everything but like I've said before the biggest thing I recommend is this head block and a uh, full head assembly makes a massive, massive difference on this model. Like that, all four screws are in and Loctited. So now it is time to mount the ESC and then mount our fly barless tray. Before mounting the ESC, we need to mount our anti-rotation bracket. So I already went ahead and removed the screws. They're gonna go right there in the top. Your bracket is going to sit down right into place like everything on Micro Heli does. They do an incredible job. Guys, this mainframe is incredible. Loctite your screw run it down, 
Do the same on the other side, put that screw in there, lock tight, and let's get the ESC installed. So something to keep in mind, which I forgot to do, was wrap the motor wires, tail motor wires around one time. So it shortens them up because our ESC leads and we want them to be about right there so they can tuck right where the servo goes. So I went ahead and removed the right side servos while we installed the ESC. So move your motor wires out of the way, move your servo wires out of the way. I already peeled the double-sided tape. So now I want to mount this ESC where this front capacitor is about even with the front of the aluminum tray. So we're gonna stick this down as even and straight as we can. Push it down real good so it sticks and then go ahead, plug in your motor wires, blue to blue, red to red, black to black, and then your tail motor wires and then do the same with your motor wires. But these motor wires are going to wrap around this way and kind of lay flat like this. So now our next step is going to be the FBL tray. So I already went ahead and removed the four 1.5 millimeter screws and we're gonna grab our tray. So it's this little piece of carbon fiber right here with double-sided tape. And there is no right or wrong way to put it. You're just going to go ahead and it's also going to hold down our motor main motor wires. So I'm just gonna hold a little bit of pressure with my thumb, take my screwdriver or my 1.5 millimeter Allen driver, no Loctite or anything, cause you're going into plastic. You could run a dab of CA, but it is not needed. And grab the next one. I'm just gonna cross them and then I will run the other two in and we can mount the FBL unit. So go ahead run that other screw in like that that will help i'm going to tuck the little yellow tail motor wire move this wire out of our way so now our servo wires are up our esc wire is here so now run your other two and let's mount the fbl Go ahead peeled the backing off the double-sided tape got the double-sided tape removed off of the mini 6251 so now we are going to look and try to line this up so it is perfectly straight and we're going to put it to where the back of the FBL unit is about midway. And then we're going to push it down so it sticks very well. Our antenna comes out the front. It is nice and stuck down. About in the middle, a little off, but looks decent. So now go ahead, plug all your servos in. Just like that, we are completely finished with the MicroHeli Infusion mainframe install. So now we are fully MicroHeli'd out. The one thing I really, really love about this frame is the sliding battery mechanism. So it's a tray, Velcro your battery to it. They do give you two trays with the frame. You have a little push button right here. You can slide the battery in and out. That battery's not going anywhere. Very solid. Everything looks incredible, like all MicroHeli. We're running the 3S 800s. Battery fits in there perfectly. Helicopter balance is great. Super, super happy with it. So there you guys go. I hope this video helps some of you. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description below. Give this video a like, subscribe, take care, and have a great day. And a huge thank you to Micro Ellie. Check them out.